everybody, it is Johnny, and I am here to do a little review on the Anna Griffith Griffin Mink, which I bought from HSN, major fail, and then to ask y'all a couple of questions. Um, first off, let me tell you that I bought this as the special of the day. I was so excited to get it. It arrived and I was a little disappointed in the size of it because it's pretty narrow here. It is not nearly as um, big as the Heidi Swap um, mink and um, certainly this is a major fail not only because of that but okay so I, I um, of course got it out of the box plugged it in within a day or two uh, gave it a shot, tried it, and just to make sure it worked. And what was happening um, right from the get-go, when I was feeding the carrier sheet in here, in this hole, no matter how slowly and carefully I um, put the carrier sheet in, it was coming out crooked on the other side. No matter how straight, I would line it up exactly put it in there completely straight and when it was coming out the other end it was coming out crooked and I thought well that must be user error I just don't you know know exactly what I'm doing well anyway um, so I put it aside because I had just I, like I said I just wanted to try it out see how it worked um, so today I went to use it again because I printed out a bunch of people's names um, that I'm doing some uh, swaps for, some pocket letters and some other little things. And if you do, if you print them out on a laser printer in black, then you can throw them through here and foil them. So I wanted to foil their names, and I got uh, printed out two or three names on one sheet, put it into the carrier sheet. Um, put it on the recommended, recommended setting of two. You let it heat up for a long time. And then, lo and behold, as it was trying to come through, don't know if you can see right there, but that is part of the carrier sheet. Part of it came out and it was fried. I mean, all bubbly and crinkly and it tore in half, and the rest of it has stayed inside the machine. Sadly, it is past the 30 days to return this. So, um, <clears throat> there's $100 down the tubes. I am going to call back and talk to a supervisor because that's a major fail, and that certainly shouldn't happen after the second use. And I guess there was something wrong with it all along, and maybe that's why when the, when the sheets were going in here, I assume that maybe one of the little rollers that feed this through was not working properly. So one was getting more friction and that's why the sheets were coming out uh, crooked. I don't know. But I just wanted to let you know that um, if I would have known in person that the opening is so small, I would have never, 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 never would have bought this. I would have bought um, either uh, the Heidi Swap one or I would have even just bought a laminator and uh, been done with it because this was just n didn't hold up to my expectations. So, anyway, I'll let you know. I wasn't in the mood today to really argue with anybody, but I'll call back tomorrow and uh, talk to a supervisor. And actually, I have a feeling that by the time this actually arrived, it is over 30 days since I ordered it because they took the second payment. It was three payments of like $33 that they take out. And uh, the, the second payment came out either yesterday or today. But, you know, from the time you order it till you actually receive it is a good week. So I don't believe I've even had it for 30 days. So that's that. I will let you know. Also, I'm wondering what is going on with YouTube. I posted a video today for video response um, for someone, and um, 
I didn't get any, you know, you always get an email that someone has left a comment. I got an email from YouTube saying that the video was up, but I didn't get any comments, and I thought, wow, not even one. I'd actually even uh, messaged the lady I was doing it for. I was doing it for her mom, and I didn't get any response from her or anyone. So I went over into the video itself, and sure enough, there is uh, six or seven comments, yet not one email from eBay. So um, I went to a couple other of my videos that got comments today and no messages from email, from eBay, um, eBay, from <laughs> YouTube, I'm sorry. Um, yet I am getting messages that say other people are putting up videos. I am getting those messages, but no comments are coming into my email. And I wanted to know if anyone else has noticed that. If you can go and check some of your videos and, and see if you've gotten some new messages that you have not received notification, which if they're changing that, my goodness, that's a whole nother uh, box of worms that they're opening up. Just imagine if people are asking questions um, in their responses to your video. Um, where did you get this? Um, can I enter your contest? What is, you know, blah, blah, blah. Can you private message me your address so I can send your, you know, item in? Um, like, for instance, I have the video up for my challenge, and I say on there, you just need to leave a comment, and when you leave a comment, you're automatically entered. If you do a video response and let me know you've done that, you're, you get more entries. If you make a pocket letter and send it, you get more entries. But that means that if people are just leaving a comment saying happy birthday, I'm not getting those. So I have to go in every day and check and see who else has left comments. So if you guys could let me know if that's going on with you. Um, I would certainly, certainly appreciate it. Okay, I will be back in a little bit. I got some new pocket letters, which I will do a video of and show you. And again, major fail. Not happy with this in any way, shape, or form. So, um, I'm actually, after I talk to a supervisor, going to see if I can just um, send this back and get my money back and go and buy um, a different one because this was not good so okay guys thank you so much remember share the love give someone a hug smile kind word no biting no fighting be well everyone pinkalicious hugs ciao ciao ciao